Yo, 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 what's up, y'all? My name is Ray Nell Royal. Welcome back to my channel, Fishing Trips. And we back for another vlog, y'all. And back for another episode of Freshwater Tuesdays. Now, if you're new to my channel, Freshwater Tuesday is when I go in around Houston. I fish freshwater spots, you know, lakes, ponds, bayous. As long as it's fresh water, I'm gonna try it, all right? Now, check it. I got a special episode for you today because guess what? About two months ago, I discovered that every winter, the Texas Wildlife Department stocks rainbow trout in the lakes around Houston. What? What? Now, check it out. I tried rainbow trout maybe like the first time three months ago. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. I bought it at HEB. Delish. My favorite freshwater fish. Is that the only freshwater? No, I had catfish before. So you know what I mean. So check it out. We're going to try to catch some rainbow trout today. Now, I've been studying on YouTube how to catch them. I got some power fish bites. I got some um, rooster tails. So that's it. Just give me one rainbow trout and I'll be happy. This one, Lord. This one for Freshwater Tuesday. I know I can do it. So, it's a lot deeper than it looks. So what I need to do is let my rooster tail get a lot deeper. Got my pole in the water. Let's get deeper. <gasps> Enjoy the vlog. Lay out! I got my little corner right here. And like I say, this area it looks trash. No current, stagnant, but for some reason, fish were over here. So, unless I see some fish somewhere else, we're gonna try right here. Lego, let's get set up, let's get set up. All right, y'all, so. Pole as usual. I did bring a net. I wasn't gonna do it, but don't wanna be lazy. I have my keel bag, which I use for salt water, but nothing smaller. Of course, I got my camo backpack with my gear, tackle box, that. And what am I missing? I am missing my camera. I forgot my goddamn bag, y'all. Hold on, hold on. All right, y'all, so let me show you my setup. I got these big bite baits. Um, like a 116 ounce jig head. I got these Berkeley Power Baits Original Scent Trout Nuggets. As you can see here, doesn't look that appealing to me, but whatever. I'm gonna have a bobber on about a 12 inch liter. So that's the setup. Let's see if we can catch something. We'll see, we'll see. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Hey, what y'all trying to catch? Um, I'm just catching critters. Um, caught anything yet? Yeah. We caught, uh, we caught a big old clam, some shrimp. Uh, There's shrimp and clam in there? Yeah, and uh, we caught a huge crawfish, but we gave it to a fisherman for bait. Really? Yeah, he was, he was pretty big. He was a pretty, pretty big. big size. I think I'm, uh -huh. I should still have a picture on my phone. What are the claims doing in Katy? <laughs> there's, yeah, there's a lot Just of them. You can see out. empty ones uh, along the shore, but it's okay. really, it's really tough to find like full uh -huh. ones like this. Is it? I was really surprised. Wow, that's that's that was it? the the crawfish, dude. They got crawfish in here that big. <laughs> yeah, he was a uh, yeah. mighty, mighty large. And Did you say uh, shrimp? Yeah, little shrimp. Gold, gold shrimp. Gold shrimp, huh? Yeah. Amazing. Oh, this is like all over. <laughs> <laughs> what do y'all do? Put it like in an aquarium at home, or? Um, yeah, we have an aquarium. Mm -hmm. I have a little baby turtle. And, uh -huh. uh, we like, caught from here. Yeah, uh -huh. I, caught, I caught it from here. Mm -hmm. It was a dare. Uh, <laughs> it was a dare. From mm -hmm. my two roommates. Mm -hmm. and then... <laughs> I told her because uh, I didn't think she would do it. I told her she walked in and caught it by hand. She uh -huh. could keep it. You and a I turn around hand? to talk to the other roommate. I look around and she's huh? pulling a turtle out the water. With her. Yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> the pants on. Like, okay, turtle. cool. Yeah, uh, I took my really my shoes and socks off. I rolled up my pants right away and I just mm -hmm. went in there. 
Yeah, I would have lost that yeah, bet. It's really deep too. It <laughs> Is it? Up here. Are you sure? Yeah. Um, like right I there? I went in the shallow, like the uh -huh. weedy area. Yeah, yeah. And I was surprised it was that deep. Mm, I don't do turtles. I don't do frogs. <laughs> Anything aqua. Frogs. Besides fish. I can use fish, but turtles, not frogs. <laughs> yeah, I love, I love aquariums. Really yeah? Cool. Yeah. Yeah. There's a lot of people out here because I think they stopped the rainbow trout out yesterday, right? So that's why so many people out here. Oh, really? They yeah. did it again? Yeah, it was. Uh, I was it, wondering why there was so many. Yeah, people they were supposed to do it last week, but it was too warm, so they did it yesterday actually. So that's why so many people out here. Nice. Yeah. I know. <laughs> yeah, so we'll I love. <laughs> They'll yeah. be here. I think they're gonna do it again on December fifteenth. Oh, okay. Yeah, so we'll see. No problem. Well, thanks for uh, letting me be nosy. Mm -hmm. Good luck to y'all. Right. Do you have a YouTube channel? Yes, my new what? YouTube channel is called Fish and Trips. Oh my gosh. Fish and Trips. Yeah, because I'm subscribed to a lot of fishing right, bro. channels. Yeah, all kinds. I'll show you. Fish. Oh. Fish and Trips? Fish and Trips. Oh, Trips. Trips. <laughs> trips. I know, that's really like, Chips? That sounds delicious. Yeah, so it's going to be this one. Fish and Trips. Sometimes it's more trips than fish, but you know, yeah. <laughs> the experience. Yes. Got it? Yeah, I'd love to see what you... Don't worry. What you got? Hey, you got a quite, quite a following too. Yeah, you know, awesome. you know, I'm trying, I'm trying. I'm glad I actually am following someone who's from here. Oh, for real? Yeah. yeah. I do this whole thing called Freshwater Tuesdays on my channel. So I just go around Houston and just fish like a freshwater spot awesome. every Tuesday. Yeah. Thank you. Y'all see it. Y'all will see it. <laughs> Y'all see it. Nice awesome. meeting you. Nice Bye. Meeting you too. Thank you. Don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Pretty cool, y'all. Just got two new subscribers and it seems like a really nice spot. You never know. So when you see people, don't be scared to talk to them. You know, people are great. People are great. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Now, when I was coming in, I saw one guy, he had a couple, like 12 inches on a stringer. So, they're definitely out here. Pretty sure they're traumatized from being transported from two hours up north in some city in which they farm these, um, these animals or fish. So, imagine you've been chilling in your house for about six months. All of a sudden, you get put in the back of a truck and dumped two hours away from home. These poor child literally got kidnapped and probably traumatized. So, I can't see how they're really hungry. Like, would you have an appetite after that? I mean, I wouldn't. Okay, even though this is like a small corner, Melissa said that water's like four feet deep. So it's a lot deeper than it looks. So what I need to do is let my rooster tail get a lot deeper. Got my pole in the water. Let's get deeper. What? What? What is that? Is that a bass or a trap? We got a bass, y'all. We got a bass. Uh, all right, all right. We ain't getting skunk, but okay. So apparently, I gotta get lower. Y'all see that? Definitely not a trout. Is this a trout or a bass? No, this is a bass. I ain't crazy. Hold on, buddy. All right, y'all, so we have this little guy here. Small little bass. Wish it was a trout. There we go. There we go, we have our first fish of the day. I gotta get that good angle for my thumbnail to make it look like it's huge. See that? Baby, 10 pound, 10 pound bass, 10 pound bass. Maybe I can throw out some, some speckles on it and call it a speckle trout. I don't know. Come on, let's get our trout. I told you there was some fish in there.
Okay, quick little story time. Shout out to one of my subscribers, Sony Phillip. So Mr. Um, Sony Phillip here, he has this very nice Hobie kayak, all right? He's only used it one time. He sends me a message and says, hey, I want you to have content. I want you to use my kayak. First of all, y'all, I've never been on a kayak before in my life. So to me, he's asking me to commit suicide. Don't know how Sony is subscribed to my channel. We never met before. He has a brand new kayak, but yet he's willing to let me borrow it just for content. Subscriber love, man. You gotta love it. I'm gonna take him up on an offer. And Sony, if I die, I'm coming back and haunting you and your family. All right, y'all, so it's been about 30 minutes. I haven't seen anyone catch anything or get any bites, but I just realized something. Do y'all see these birds right here? You see these birds right here? All these birds right here, do you see in the frame, they're diving and swimming through the water. I've never seen these particular birds here at Katy, um, Mary Jo Park. I think these birds actually know that this pond is stocked for rainbow trout and they're just swimming trying to hunt these fish maybe that's why we can't catch them because these diving birds are actually catching all our fish so that makes me think that the fish might head towards the middle of the lake towards deeper water to stay away from these things comment below what are these birds are because if i do conclude that one of these birds or all of these birds are eating all the rainbow trout i'm gonna have to eat one don't care what it is i'm going to eat one Stay tuned. Hey. Uh huh? It looks like a hawk to me, huh? Well, it is, but it's, it's, I think it's what they call an osprey. Oh, okay. It likes to eat fish. Oh, it likes to eat fish. What are these ones that are like diving in the water? Okay, them are what those things. Those are called, called comoron. Comoron? Comoron, it's a, they've been here years, but it's a non invasive. They used to use them in China. Mm hmm. To catch fish, the, the old way right? was they would have a pole. Uh -huh. They would have a ring around the fish's necks with a rope, right? And let it go, and it go in the water and catch the fish, uh -huh. but it couldn't swallow it because oh. the ring would stop it. They pull the fish out of its mouth. Uh -huh. So what you're seeing, yeah, what those are is uh -huh. some call them turkey buzzards, but those are fish, uh -huh. birds that swim under the water, right? And eat, and they're doing what they 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 love all these trout they're stocking. Right. That bugger up there, uh -huh. that's an osprey. It's osprey. part of the predator hawk family, uh -huh. but he likes fish. So my theory is that bird right there is like hunting these rainbow trout. Yes, it, while it's hunting any fish, uh -huh. but the rainbow trout are because there's abundance. Right, right, right. It will eat like minnows and stuff. I've seen them eat small catfish. Okay. The small catfish is because they their spine doesn't protrude out uh -huh. and they can... I fished here and caught a cat about mm -hmm. that big and it had a hole near its tail because one of them mm -hmm. grabbed it but it couldn't it's too big but there's really? you watch them yeah they go under then they come up and they got one i figured they're the ones who scared all the trout no, to like the deep or something scaring them but they're they're eating them the other yeah see if you see they roost in there right but i've seen i've seen more caught down in this end especially in that corner it's mm -hmm. a little deeper Okay. So the, the trout, are, they're moving, but they're trying to, the, the trout hide, it, as the sun comes up, which very little today, but right. the, the trout go deeper. They All go deeper. Go deeper. Okay. Because just like people fish, the sun can burn them. Okay. So if it's sunny out, the fish go deep. Ah. If, the best day to fish really is cloudy days because the fish aren't as deep. Like this, pretty yeah. much. And I mean, I've caught one trout, but uh -huh. I've lost a couple of my good lures. Mm -hmm. So this is one I'm not confident in. That's why I'm not catching nothing. <laughs> it's, but they're... So what's a good lure to use? Well, the one I use, it looks, it's, it has, a, I had a green yellow spinner on it. Okay. And then it had two hooks. It's basically uh -huh. a setup to put plastic worms on. Oh, okay. And the hooks are gold. Uh -huh. And what I would do is I would, I would put a couple pieces of corn on. Okay. And then cast it out and the so spinning couple... attracts them and then they see the corn. I mean, ah. I can, if you sit and fish, mm -hmm. but I, I mean, I know the trout in there are in here, so I don't mind doing a lot of casting, but a lot, like you were over there casting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. After a while, you mm -hmm. might do a hundred casts and catch one. Exactly. And that's what I have in here, one. Oh, really? And it's a foot long, but. It's I mean, a trout? Oh yeah. It will feed me, but oh, not wow. enough. I, ah. I'm a, I'm a five trout man. 
Are you really? <laughs> Would you mind if I see it? I haven't. Yeah, yeah, I, haven't I, I can eat. Oh, I've never seen a Houston trout before. Well, these, these are raised in Athens. So if you put me on camera, <laughs> tell them that you're talking to Hank Williams Jr. Hank Williams Jr. Yeah. All right. See, Hank my, Williams Jr. is on the phone. My name is Henry Michael Williams Jr. Henry Michael Williams Jr. So what do they call? Mm -hmm. Hank is another name for Henry. Ah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> this is. I was gonna get ice, but uh, mm -hmm. he's gonna. He'll be dinner this afternoon yeah. when I get home. Uh, this is rainbow trout. He's cold oh, too, man. He's cold. elusive trout. See, he's cold. Fish. Yeah. Yep. Look at that. That's a beautiful fish. These are good eating. They are. Man. They do exist. Is the it? thing about them is, see, the scales are so small mm -hmm. that you can watch your camera. Mm -hmm. You can almost just there ain't nothing there. See how little that scale is? Yeah. You really can't see it, so you just gut mm -hmm. them. Mm -hmm. And I'll I'll gut them. I'll cut these off. Mm -hmm. Cut the head off. Clean the inside out. Mm -hmm. And then cook it whole. Oh, I'll fry it like this. Right. Like this. Right. And then like that. And it's and it's a. Uh, nice. Yeah, this is this is a good one. A now look, see the see the thing on his nose, how it's bumped right here. Uh huh. What is that? Because he was in a tank. When uh -huh. they bring him here, yeah, they're yeah. in tanks, and he kept bumping it, because that that's fresh. Mm -hmm. They came out yesterday. And then they got little teeth. These things, they eat a lot of stuff. Mm -hmm. But you know, it's like any predator. Uh, right. They're gonna eat what moves. Look at his tail. Something mm -hmm. happened to its tail. Okay. See how it's not the same. Hey, right. So it's and when I get home when I clean them, uh -huh. I'll, I'll when I cut them open and uh -huh. take everything out, uh -huh. I'll look in his stomach to see what he ate. What he ate. And sometimes you know, I've caught cats like that, uh -huh. and what they ate is what you caught them with <laughs> was oh, the really? last thing. So what do you do with all the, the the video you're taking? I have a YouTube channel. I just go on fishing trips and just post them on YouTube. But you don't catch any. <sighs> Just you, you must. Just I'm about to say you must be subscribed to my channel. No, no, that's I, don't, a, I, I don't. That's exactly I, the premises. I don't know. I don't understand. <laughs> you. All right, it was Henry, right? Yeah, Henry. Henry. Yeah, you can call me Roy. Nice to meet you, though. Roy, what's the last name? Well, that's my last name. My first name is Raynell. Raynell Roy. Yeah, Raynell uh -huh. Roy. Yeah, most people can't remember Raynell, so I just say Roy. <laughs> Raynell kind of flows off the tongue. There you go. That's what I say. Raynell, exactly. <laughs> you be careful. You too, sir. Catches that bird. So that dude is chumming in the water. <laughs> so I'm gonna try to use his chum and catch his trout. I'm trying rooster tail. No luck yet. Fishing trips. Fishing trips, man. Man, I'm Maurice. I'm Maurice. A, uh, yeah, I follow the channel. Nice to meet you, man. Yeah, nice to meet you. Any luck? No, I've got. I was shooting the same thing right there. Yeah. I was telling him right now. I've been here since seven. Since you know, seven. Over there. Yeah. Oh, for real? He's caught a, uh, he's caught a catfish in, uh, in two, uh, two perches, two small perches. I'm talking like maybe this big. Oh, for real? Yeah, small perches. Yeah. But it's been tough. It's been real tough. Uh, yeah, man. I seen that one guy I spoke to. He had yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The one that was uh, yeah, yeah. the older gentleman. And when I was leaving, somebody had two on a stringer. So I'm like, they're in here. But you know me. If you watch my channel, you know I'm going to get lucky as hell to catch one of these damn things. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I don't do this, right? I do bass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was telling him right now, I was like, this is about the most boring fishing, <laughs> fishing day for me I've ever had. Yes, Cause, man. Because it's, it's usually, you know, I, I got so tired that I was throwing the, uh, the uh, rooster tail. Uh -huh. I mean, I'm only getting it out five, six feet. <laughs> yeah, you know? Exactly. And, and so it, exactly. It's boring. But, then, you know, I, I'd rather much spend the whole day casting. Yep. Uh, crankbaits and some other stuff. Yeah. And not catch anything. Exactly. And then to sit here and throw worms. And, Trust me, I can know, relate. I can so totally relate. I was out yesterday, this flounder fishing, man. So doing that yesterday, and is that right? yeah, yeah, I posted that this morning, at like 11. You'll see it okay. if you come across it. But you go uh, Galveston. Or? Yeah, I got invited by um, a captain from a charter company, oh, and nice. we went out to like the the channel, Galveston Channel, or something like that. Yeah. And um, yeah, man, we had like six people limited out. Dude, my buddy Tom went to Clear Lake yesterday. He said he caught like. Uh, mm -hmm. 
think he caught the whole thing. He caught like 40 something fish. Serious? In, yeah. <laughs> in Clear Lake. I've never been to Clear Lake. Clear Lake, Lake yeah. What, 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 what the hell is in Clear Lake? Uh, I, I know he uh, I know he said flounder. He said uh, catfish. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't remember what other species. Flounder, catfish. He said he, so, he, said he uh, Said he caught a bunch of canned fish, but he released them because uh, mm -hmm. he thought they were uh, uh -huh. not edible. I guess. Okay. <laughs> we say founder. So clear work is salt water. I thought that was clear water or it's clear, it fresh, water. Water. fresh water. Yeah, fresh water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he thought it was salt water. Oh. He threw it back, but then he was. Uh, mm -hmm. I don't know. He said he regrets throwing the uh, <laughs> catfish out there. But yeah, yeah. he's been fishing a long, lot longer than I have. Oh, for real. Yeah, it's man. nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Maurice. Luck. Right? Yeah. The guy. Uh, the no, that's not them, but the group that was right next to us had caught uh, uh -huh. two uh, trouts. Oh, They're bro? babies, though, man. They're like yeah. maybe this small. Man, I'll, you know, I'll, I'll take it. Real I'll, I'll take it. I know, right? I'll take yeah. it. At this point, I'll We're... take anything. I haven't right, caught Maurice. anything all day. All right, man. You're going to be on Freshwater Tuesday. <laughs> Peace. All right. Met another subscriber, y'all. How dope. How dope. What is the odds of that? All right, y'all. So let's try to relocate and do something else. All right. So I've been out here for about two and a half hours now in negative not a zip zero still no trout but i've seen one trout okay i've seen one trout they do exist they're in here we just gotta find them you know what i'm saying so got a lot of advice i'm um, just trying to figure out what i'm gonna do to be able to get one of these trout out the water now i will say this there's a lot of people here no one's catching it's not just me i know i'm the king of skunk however you can't blame me this time it's everybody everybody's the king the king has his people with him getting skunked as well Besides this guy, I know this guy is not catching the fish. Just like I'm saying there's no fish in here. Please don't be a fish on there. Why am I hating? Why am I hating on him? Okay, he don't got no fish. Good. All right, y'all. See, I'm, I'm a hater. If I don't catch a fish, I don't want nobody catching a fish. But look, I will say this. Even though I have not caught my rainbow trout today, I have met a lot of cool people, which is priceless, y'all. You know, no rainbow trout, but I have two new subscribers who, get, you know, I spoke to. And shout out Melissa and your roommate. Um, she gave me a great spot to try out for next Freshwater Tuesday. Um, met another subscriber. That's crazy. I'm in the middle of Katie fishing at this random pond and somebody recognizes me from YouTube. That is crazy. It's kind of funny because you know you really don't realize how many people actually watch your videos until you're out in public and people are like, hey, I'll watch your videos. It's a weird feeling, um, but it's cool, man. So if you ever see me out in public, come holler at your boy. And I can tell when like people recognize me because they kind of look at me like, is that him? Is that him? Just look. If you see a black guy with a GoPro camera on his head, it's me. It's me. Come holler at me. Come make the vlog. Come make the vlog. If you talk to me, you're going to be in the vlog, all right? All right, y'all. So let me see what I'm going to do. I don't know if I'm in the vlog here. I'm going to keep trying. I'm going to keep trying. I'm going to end the vlog. I don't know what I'm going to do. Whatever. Keep watching. All right, come on, let's go. Freshwater Tuesdays. All right, look, check it out. Good news and bad news. The good news is I did not get skunked, okay? I caught one bass. I don't care if that bass was the size of a finger mullet, it still counts, okay? Bad news is I did not complete my goal of catching my first rainbow trout, but it's okay. I knew that that wasn't going to happen after I reached out on Facebook and asked, why are these fish so hard to catch? What am I doing wrong? Well, apparently, rainbow trout got Superman sight and x-ray vision because they can see everything, and you're supposed to be using like, like ultralight weight, ultralight line, ultralight hooks. Y'all, I'm out there fishing with 30 pound braided line. I don't got the equipment. I just don't got the right equipment. So I need to gear up to Academy, get light equipment, and I'm gonna be back for another Freshwater Tuesday and I'm gonna catch a rainbow trout, okay? I'm gonna catch a rainbow trout for Freshwater Tuesday. Mark my words, but this is still not an L. It's still not an L because shout out to all the people I got to meet today. I met some subscribers, I made some new subscribers, I met some other people. So that's what it's about. Sometimes fishing is not about catching fish, it's about friendship and making new friends, all right? So I got the network today, all right? That's a W. Can I get a W? Can I get 100 likes for all the people that I met in today's video? 100 likes for my new subscribers, 100 likes for my current subscribers, 100 likes. Don't do it for me, do it for them, all right? I'm happy with Fresh Friday Tuesday. We'll see what my do what I'm gonna do next Tuesday. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Every time I want to quit Freshwater Tuesday, look. Every time I want to quit Freshwater, yeah, I'm about to go on a rant. I'm about to go on a rant. Don't click off this video. Every time I want to quit Freshwater Tuesday, I go out in public. People recognize me surprisingly and like, yo, I like Freshwater Tuesday. Yeah, right now, I love Freshwater Tuesdays. Everybody like really feeling Freshwater Tuesday, so I can't quit. I can't quit because y'all keep requesting for it. And when y'all see me out in the public, y'all tell me how much y'all like it. So I gotta keep doing it. 
Thanks for watching. See you next week. Peace.